There's no better place to end the 2015 AMA Pro Flat Track season than right here in Las Vegas where the stakes are high and all bets are in. We're racing for the first time this season inside on a never before seen track. This track is shaped like a football and built for close elbow banging racing. We're going to be crowning the 2015 Grand National Champion. Who is it going to be? Is Jared Meese going to defend his title or is Brian Smith going to take home his first ever Grand National Championship? But don't write off Kenny Coolbeth Jr. He's a three-time Grand National Champion. Will he go for four? Stay tuned for an all-star flat track weekend with our final starting right now. And tomorrow, our first ever Super Prestigio of the Americas. Place your bets now. Welcome to Las Vegas for the final round of the AMA Pro Grand National Flat Track Series. We're at the Orleans Arena. It's a great time to be a flat track fan. Let me tell you why. One, we're in the Wall Street Journal. Two, we're in Maxim Magazine. Three, we're in Sports Illustrated. And four, we got one heck of a point spell coming down to the line tonight. Let's go catch up with our points leader, Jared Mead. You know, I like the barbecue flavored potato chip. That's like my favorite. So uh, been on the couch for a few weeks eating those and um, trying to get a little traction for this little short track and uh, hopefully it plays to advantage. You know, this is the longest I think the AMA Grand National Series has ever carried in the year. I mean, heck, you know, we're less than a week away from Thanksgiving and um, we're, we're deciding the championship in the final race here at uh, Las Vegas, so that's really neat. But uh, from the last race till now, we had a long time off, so a lot of time to think about it. I never would have imagined that the final race would ever have come to a little indoor tiny short track, something that I have a lot of time on, ice, concrete. So I'm not feeling like I have an advantage, but I feel like I've done a lot of these to feel prepared enough and to know in certain situations what I need to be in. And um, you know, more than anything, I've never won a 450 race and I've never won a short track and I've never won the last race of the season. So they're all things that I would like to check off my list. And uh, to, you know, if I go out there and I win the race and achieve all those, the Grand National Championship comes along with it. Here's a look at the points. You can see Jared Meese has a narrow margin right now over Brian Smith and a long shot, but it could, ma it could happen here tonight. Kenny Coolbeth sitting 20 points behind. Let's hear from Brian Smith, who we caught up with earlier. Uh, not only is this a long end of the season, but it's uh, just two months to think about it. But it's also good because it's two months to get ready. You know, this track's small enough. I think everybody in the top ten probably built one uh, that's a replica of it, including myself. And fortunately for me, I had the best flat tracker in the world <laughs> keeping, me, keeping me sharp for the last two months. Scotty Parker, he, uh, him and his family built me a track in his backyard for me to work my ass off and ride and ride and ride. And uh, so the two months off was torture, but it was good because I figured out a lot of stuff that I didn't like on these motocross bikes and now that I do like, so. We've heard from the two top contenders in the points battle. The third deciding factor will be the racetrack. It's very unique, it's inside an arena, and the man who built this racetrack is none other than Chris Carr, the seven time champ. Our AMA Pro Flat Track regulars, and especially the guys racing for the championship, are gonna be met with a very unique racetrack. First of all, it's the smallest racetrack that they're gonna have on the AMA Pro Flat Track Series this year. Not only that, the corners aren't round, and that's by design. Our theory here is to point the corners, we've shaped the track very much like a football, try and keep it racy. We have two different types of dirt. This brown dirt here is the base. And just below this decomposed granite here, it's a very hard shell. We're compacting this dirt into the base to try and give ourselves a real consistent surface that's firm but forgiving to create multiple lines through these tight turns. Not only tonight are they gonna have to get good starts and they're gonna have to ride well, but most importantly, to win the championship for Jared Meese, Brian Smith, and Kenny Kulbeth, they're gonna have to be great racers. 
Another thing to be looking out for, another thing to be thankful for here on the eve coming up on Thanksgiving is the return of the bullet. Brad Baker, the 2013 Grand National Champion, is back. He's racing here tonight. For more, let's go catch up with Brad Baker. I mean, there's going to be some other riders that'll be pretty good at it, but I think uh, a rider that's, uh, you know, throws more cycle around, makes more cycle do what they want, has a little bit more strength behind them. Um, like myself and riders like Henry Wiles and, and Jared Mees will will do good at these tracks. Uh, you know, it's a paper clip, and uh, have you noticed that a lot of races that uh, if anybody gets the motorcycle turn and point in the other direction the quickest, it's uh, usually myself more often than not. And uh, with it being a, a paper clip football type track like this, it'll definitely uh, definitely play into my advantage uh, when it comes to getting the bike turn. We've heard from our contenders. We've heard from the gentleman who built the racetrack. Coming up after this break, it's time for opening ceremonies. 